Eric Burgess here and we've been given this series it's kind of a gnarly looking series compared to what we've seen thus far and we are told is it convergent divergent or if it is convergent what does it converge to so just looking at this we're going to do some algebraic manipulation to make this thing a little nicer so one of the things we can do is we could pop this six out and I'm just going to write sigma just know that n is one and it goes to infinity and so when we do that we get two to the 2n minus 1 over 3n and be aware that uh, we can do this because of limit laws and so that's we could pop constants out like that when they're multiplied and then we say okay well doing this we'll go ahead and uh, look at this and say well we can get this 2 to the negative 1 out of here right because this this thing 2 to the 2n minus 1 is the same thing as 2 to the minus 1 times 2 to the 2n. Right, that's the same thing if we were to multiply them. They have the same base, so we would just add the exponents. And 2 to the minus 1 is like 1 half. And so that's the same thing as just dividing our 6 out here by half. So we'll be left with 3 over 2 to the 2n over 3n. And I should have uh, equal signs here. And then we say, okay, well, looking at this, we want to get them to the same power of n. And I wrote this a little low. So we say, looking at this, okay, well, hmm. Well, we can get rid of this 2 here. And you might be tempted to do something like what I did here. But the thing is, this 2 is attached to the n. So we can't just uh, trick the 2 off over to the 3 by the use of a constant. What I'm saying is we can't do this. We can't do 2 squared by 2n, right? This is the same thing as 2 to the 2n, right? And then you might be tempted to make this 4 and give it to the 3. But you actually, you can't do that. Illegal move there uh, because it's attached to the 2n. There's not a sign here, like a plus or a minus that would allow us to do something like that. It's attached by multiplication. Because of that, we can indeed take the two down to what it's attached to. We just can't give it to the three. So this becomes three times four n, right? Two squared over three n. Now they have the same power of n. And so we can say that this is three times, and then we get four thirds raised to the n. At this point, the red flag should go off because we've got a three here. This is our a, this is our r, and we notice that r, absolute value of r, is greater than 1. And so we say, well, this, this is not good. This means it diverges. And that's it. The, the trickiest part about this one is exercising the algebraic manipulation and um, getting to this r value. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos, and we'll catch you in the next problem.